look familiar. You'll have to remind me last time we saw each other. I went to the office a few months ago. Yes, and yes, yes. Talk about the immigration. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for coming. Yeah, yes. thank you for reminding me. You look the same like that day. And that day. Did I, I have, have on the same outfit? No. <laughs> the hair is neat like always. And I, I have a, asked you to the permission to give you a big applause to this lady because that lady made a super hard job. I'm a mother, but your job is on the top. And more than one lady wanted to do that. And I know you have in your hands the opportunity to change our country. I speak to you before, but that day I have to come to tell you how important it is for us. I don't know what is the difference between you or any of these people here. Because we, we need the same things. And we have work, family, and too many things to do to be a person. I don't see why we have to be on the second class. Because we don't belong to this country. That's America. Right? I pay my taxes. I work so hard. I learn this language. It's not my language. But I try every single day since so my kids started kindergarten. I remember one of my nephews told me, why do you speak English? And they laughed me, because I don't speak English well. And I said, because if I want to be here, I have to learn English. And do like everybody else. I see a letter that you write days ago. And I was very surprised to read about, to talking about um, amnesty. That bill is not amnesty. That's our reform that's going to change the way that immigration works right now because it's not working. People have to wait years and years to have one of the families with them. And I don't want to be long in this, but I want to know what is your position. And if you take the time to see people like me and listen to us and give us a vote about it. Please. Well, first of all, let me say um, I appreciate you being here today. <laughs> your daughter was with you, or your niece, son. your son, but your niece was with you that day? No, it was a, a girl from Mobile. Very um, impressive young lady, and I uh, remember, um, remember now the situation. Look, I'm always going to be straight up, so I'm going to be straight up with you now, and I was with, I was straight with you that day. Um, I'm not for the Senate bill. I'm not. Um, and the House of Representatives, Speaker Boehner has made it clear that we're not going to take up the Senate bill. What we are going to do is the Judiciary Committee, on which I do not sit, is currently writing a series of bills instead of a blanket reform, a large document that people stick things on that we may not know the consequences um, later. Um, a series of bills, and the first of which is going to deal with border security. Um, and that is my number one issue, is making sure that we secure the border first before we have a conversation about anything else. What I also told you that day is that we have a problem, and I'm for a solution. I believe that there's a lot of people in Washington, D.C. that are for a political talking point and are not for a real solution. are people that you think are for you, but don't want this as a solution. They want it as a political issue to win elections in 2014. And I think we all need to be honest with ourselves about time for solutions. And I can't lay out for you in this room right now, I know you're all, I know who's other. I can't lay out for you what every single one of those bills look like. Again, I don't sit on judiciary and I'm not part, part of the markup process. But beyond um, securing the border, what I am for is legal immigration and ensuring, like you said, that we have a process in place for people who want to be in the United States uh, and become citizens of the United States, um, that we have a legal process that is not broken and that works. And I don't believe we have that right now. 
I also believe that we've got to take up the guest worker program and some of the flaws that are in that. So those are my three points, but I'm never going to look you in the eye to tell you something that you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what I really believe in, and I do not believe that the Senate bill is the direction that we need to go. But I can assure you that the House of Representatives, through the regular process of marking up bills, allowing for amendments, and then taking it, voting it out of committee and taking it to the floor, will be done through a series of bills, and I look forward to revisiting you and anybody else here who has an interest in it, which I think is everybody because we're all Americans and we want, I want a solution. So let's continue to have this conversation. 